As I was thinking about four primary attributes that I value in great CEOs, great entrepreneurs, many of whom have been the leaders of my best investments over the last 30 years, com companies that I've grown greatly to admire, led by these people, I started ordering my my words. I had my four words, and I realized if I just reordered them in a certain way, it would spell Yoda. And who doesn't love Yoda? In fact, we were talking the other day at The Motley Fool around our headquarters saying, you know, the new Star Wars movie, just the whole Star Wars arc, the overall story arc of Star Wars, who is the true fool, capital F? Who's the most capital F foolish character in all of Star Wars? And we agreed, I think, I mean, there's some arguments about C-3PO. There, You could definitely think about R2-D2 as a fool, but really, I think Yoda is the ultimate fool. Uh, so I, I like Yoda anyway. So I was gr I was really happy when I noticed that my letters, my acronym, is spelt Y O D A. If I just ordered it in a certain way, so that's the order I'm going to pre present these four traits this week that I'm that I value when I can see any one of them present in an entrepreneur or CEO. And this, if I see them, tends to predispose me to looking harder at that stock. It doesn't mean I'm a buyer, but it means plus in the plus column for leadership, which is really the question that we're answering this week. The letter Y. Y is for youthful. Now, there's no real getting around it in my mind. Most of the great entrepreneurs, most of the really great business people, tend to start when they're young. We all know the stories of people like Bill Gates, age 20, starts Microsoft. Steve Jobs, age 21, starts Apple. Um, Mark Zuckerberg, age 20, starts Facebook. These are companies that are now worth hundreds of billions of dollars, all started by people. If you're my age, 49, you watch these people grow up during your own lifetime. It doesn't mean that you have to be young in order to be a successful entrepreneur. I have at least one or two examples I'll give in a sec. But it means that most of the time, I see the great entrepreneurs showing their colors at a very early age. And the beauty of that as a stockbacker and an investor, a fellow fool here with me, what we can appreciate together about that is that typically coverage of people who are young tends to be a little bit hesitant to really celebrate them or lionize them. In fact, it's often quite skeptical because they are so young. They're so wet behind the ears, they've never run anything before. And so this tends to create a sense of skepticism around this person, his or her voyage that they're on from this very early age. And certainly we've all been youths, so we know that we were making mistakes back then. And young people make mistakes, and especially if they're CEO of a public company, they probably will get far more criticism than somebody who's twice that age would, partly just because they're young. So there's an interesting psychological dynamic built into a lot of our financial press and our coverage, and really possibly just mirroring back our own societal collective instinct about youth versus age. We tend to be a little bit dismissive of younger people or doubting that they'll really be able to do what they're going to do. But isn't that a beautiful combination, then, when it sets up that you find a CEO who's 20 or 21 with a big and ambitious dream or vision, and they start to deliver on that. So, I think, you know, I, I value youth. Yoda leads off with the letter Y. Now, I did mention, not everybody is a young and successful entrepreneur. Um, let's go to the advanced age of 30. That was the age when Jeff Bezos started Amazon.com. Or if you want to age things just a little bit more, 31 was the age when Reed Hastings decided, you know what, I'm going to start this thing with a friend called Netflix. Uh, 30 and 31, in grander terms, especially now that I'm 49, still sound pretty young to me, but we're not talking about college dropouts here. We're talking about people who had already done some substantial things in their life. Reed Hastings had already founded successfully a company and sold it before he started Netflix. And certainly, Jeff Bezos had had a successful career on Wall Street in his 20s. Um, the way I think about age, to close this one, is it's kind of like golf. Most of the people who have a great shot at winning Augusta from one year to the next, if they're not already quite young then, they showed as a great golfer earlier in their career. So Tiger Woods, who doesn't really have much of a shot anymore of winning Augusta, uh, nevertheless got started so young, he said hello world at his first press conference, and there he was, coming right out of Stanford and already competing really at a world-class level and did for years and years. And Certainly the young guns of golf today, we see them so I think it's like golf. 
Most great entrepreneurs show that, like most great golfers, from an early age, but it certainly is possible to come along at a later age and still do pretty well. As always, people on this program may have interest in the stocks they talk about, and The Motley Fool may have formal recommendations for or against. So don't buy or sell stocks based solely on what you hear. Learn more about Rulebreaker Investing at rbi.fool.com.